They're on the track for the sixth race. Sixth race is the first division of the Tompkins Gears Stake for three-year-old Cole Pacers, sponsored by Budget Car and Truck Rental. Exact and trifecta wagering. Here they are. Number one is Shinnecock Hills, owned by Gail McElmurray, trained by Mike Watson, the driver Maradoki. Two is Best Wins, owned by Joseph Belante, trained by Bob Belcher with Dave Hawkup. At a post three, All-American Homer, owned by Russell Carl Loudon, builds and trains and drives. Four is Pine Valley, owned by Franz, Knight, Miller, and Gata. David Knight trains. Brian Sears up. Five Town Gazelle, owned by Bernice Molnar, trained by Ray Crawford with Jim Pantliano. Blue Matt Ladd is number six, owned by Harry Locke, trained and driven by Chip Noble. And the seven is Keystone Reggie, owned by Todd and Christine Shadle. Todd Shadle trains. Roger Hammer drives post time in seven minutes. Three-year-old Cole Pacers are lined up for the first division of their Tompkins Gear stake. There they go. And they're off. Going off stride, the one Shinny Cock Hills. Shinny Cock Hills is on a break from between horses. All-American Homer emerges with the early lead. Soon to be challenged from the outside by Blue Matt Ladd in second. Best Wins got a little bit rough there, has now settled away in third position, and now goes off stride. Best Wins is on a break now. Two and a half lengths further back to Pine Valley, uh, racing soon to be in third position. Two more to Town Gazelle, followed by Keystone Reggie as they hit the opening quarter in 27 seconds flat, passing the stands for the first time, and Bill Zent and All-American Homer have the lead by a length and a half. They put Blue Matt Ladd in the pocket second, and then we have Pine Valley in third. Town Gazelle is fourth. Best Wins recovered to race in fifth position. Two far the back to Keystone. Reggie in the distant trailer is Shinny Cock Hills as they round the turn on their way to the half mile pole. Up top, it's your four to five favorite. This is all American Homer making the pace in here. Blue Matt Ladd tracks him from second. Pine Valley is third in Town Gazelle and Jimmy P pull first over on the outside and they're ranging up very quickly as they pass the half in 56 and four. Off the turn and down the back stretch. On the inside, All-American Homer. On the outside, Town Gazelle. Town Gazelle pokes a scant nose in front. They're hooked up in battle. They open up three lengths on Best Wins, who comes into third position. Blue Mad Lad being urged along to keep up in fourth. Alongside of that one is Keystone Reggie, followed by Pine Valley as they hit the three quarters. And All-American Homer battles back valiantly to reclaim a narrow lead in one. 25 and one. Three sixteenths of a mile left as they move to head stretch. It's All-American Homer, the neck in front. Blue, on the outside, Town Gazelle trying to hang tough in second. Just in behind, Best Wins is at the rail in third. Far outside, Keystone Reggie as they drive through the stretch, all chasing All-American Homer. Best Wins is closing down along the inside. Keystone Reggie the outside. Here's Pine Valley Extreme outside. Pine Valley on the outside, soaring by and opening up to win the first division of the three-year-old Colt Pace in 154-1. Tight for second and third. Back to the winner's circle is number four, Pine Valley, a three-year-old bay colt by Jenna's Beach Boy, out of assailed by Albatross, some of the partnership of Franz Knight, Miller and Gata, Michigan and Pennsylvania. The winning trainer is David Knight. And it's a double tonight for driver Brian Sears. One for one this season, Pine Valley, 154 and one, a lifetime best. This race sponsored by Budget Car and Truck Rental and in the winner's circle helping to make the trophy presentation to the winning connections with Budget Car and Truck Rental, Mike and Karen Knapper, Jill Hager and Sean Edge.